Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to find the secant of 2 pi over 3 by hand. So this is just the way I do it, there's, there's other ways of doing it. So first, I like to write secant as the reciprocal function. It's 1 over, and the way I memorize it is, it's the one that starts with the other letter. So it's cosine of 2 pi over 3. Okay, so now I just focus on finding the cosine of 2 pi over 3. So whenever you have the cosine of 2 pi over 3, uh, my mind always goes to the following. So I think, what is the cosine of pi over 3? Because pi over 3 is the reference angle. So whenever you have something like this over 3, just jump to the trig function of pi over 3. From memory, this is the hard part, it's 1 half. So I just have it memorized. Super useful. So then I think, okay, what's the answer going to be for 2 pi over 3? Well, it's going to be 1 half or it's going to be negative 1 half. It depends where 2 pi over 3 is on the unit circle. The reason is the trig function values of an angle and its reference angle are the same except for possibly a sign. So they're the same or they're opposites. So what we'll do is we'll figure out where on the unit circle 2 pi over 3 is. So this is 0. This is pi over 2, and this is pi. And what I like to do is I like to write pi as a number over 3, because we have 2 pi over 3, so you can write it as 3 pi over 3. You want to think of it that way. So that means 2 pi over 3 is right over here. Boom. That's because it's pi over 3 less. You might say, how does that help us? Well, remember, on the unit circle, cosine is the x-coordinate. So here, in quadrant 2, the x-coordinate is negative. So this is equal to 1 over negative 1 half, because it's negative. And then when you divide by negative 1 half, you really multiply by the reciprocal. So it's 1 times negative 2 over 1. So you just get negative 2. And that's it. There is a lot of thought in a problem like this. It's a simple looking problem, but it does require that you know like a lot of trig but it's worth learning. I hope this video has been helpful.